Nintendo nerds, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I thought I would talk a little bit more about the accessories that came with my Switch which you guys had saw in the unboxing video last week and the extra accessories that I had purchased for my Switch to keep it protected and making sure that it's looking in good condition. Alright, without further ado, let's get this video started. So as far as the accessories for the Switch that came with it, you guys had saw in the video that I uploaded last week, which is the official unboxing video. I will put a little link down below in the description box or somewhere up here in the iCard. But they had a lot of accessories. Of course, I'm not going to talk about the HDMI cable or the AC adapter or the dock because those are actually downstairs plugged into my TV. And the way my TV is set up, it's a little bit hard for me to actually go behind and have to set up everything and plug it in. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. And those are the boring things anyways that nobody really wants to hear about. Let's start off with the first accessory that I want to talk about, which is the Switch full-on controller. Now, there's so many things I love about this. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. But I love the way it looks. And let's see if it's going to be in focus and frame perfect. I mean, it's beautiful. It's all black, and there are the two little things on the side for you to put your controllers in. And let me show it for you right now. Show it for you. Let me show it to you and show you how it's done. So I'm going to remove the first controller and now the other side. And all you're going to do is you're going to match it. So where you see the arrows, and let me just show it to you. Sorry, guys. I want to make sure that it is focused. There you go. So you see these three. Okay, it is not focusing. It's focusing on my face. Okay. So where you see these three arrows, you are going to put that inside of the controller and load it on there. So don't try to put the wrong side, the wrong controller on the wrong side. It's not going to work. So we're going to just and let me show it for you. And then put it right in like this. All locked and loaded. And you're gonna do the other side. All locked and loaded. It's gonna look like this. So when you play your games and you put it on the dock on your TV, this will make it a lot easier to play. Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, or Snipper Clippers. Snipper Clippers? Yes. Snipper, no, Snipper Clips. I don't know why I've been calling it Snipper Clippers, but it's not the right name of the game, Snipper Clips. And it gives you a more comfortable way to play, so you can just hold it like this and it'll just work. Now, if you don't like this option and you prefer a more traditional controller, there is a wireless switch full controller like this and you can purchase it. I think it's uh, 60, 50, 50 or $60, don't quote me. I'll look up the price and I'll put it somewhere on this video and you'll see the price of the controller. But that gives you a more traditional controller feel if you don't like this option. But this option is just as good. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet like I had said earlier, but it feels great in my hand right now. And I'm definitely excited to get Breath of the Wild and actually start using this awesome controller. Now, the next accessory I really want to talk about is this clear case because there's so many things wrong with it, and I will show you the box one more time, which will show you the brand that I picked up, which is this one. And, I mean, it looks great, but there's a lot of things very wrong with this case that I don't like. And you guys saw in my unboxing video, I had a lot of anxiety. I was basically on edge the entire time, just trying to put this on the pad itself had me going crazy. It feels like you know, it's going to scratch the entire thing and getting it on it means you have to actually stretch this plastic case a little bit so it'll slide right in. But really, the anxiety for me was through the roof. I was like, no. And like I said earlier in last week's video, the unboxing video, that this does not fit into the dock. You can't. You have to remove this and it is really a hassle. I've done it once or twice now to charge it. Like I said earlier, I don't want to I don't want to have to go into the back of my TV to unplug the AC adapter just to use to charge this switch. I'd rather just have it all plugged in. But when I do that, I have to remove this and again the anxiety. I feel like I'm gonna scratch it every single time. It's just not okay for me. 
But for now, this is the best looking case on the market. You can see the logo. I don't want to cover this beautiful looking logo, so I'm going to have to deal with it just a little bit longer. Hopefully, Nintendo will come out with better options. Please, Nintendo, I beg of you. Anything that will accentuate the logo without me feeling like it's going to scratch the entire thing would be greatly appreciated. Okay, now I want to talk about the case that I had for these drink consoles that came with the clear case. And that is actually in here. So these are the clear cases. Again, like more anxiety. As if I don't have enough anxiety, these things suck. And I will tell you why. It's because... It's really hard to get these on. You guys saw me struggle in last week's video. I just couldn't do it. As I was putting these on, I felt like they were gonna scratch it as well. And because this entire Switch pad and, and the joy consoles are actually a matte finish, it's easy to scratch and for the scratches to be visible. Now, putting these in, besides it being really difficult, one of the harder things that I didn't like about it or one of the cons that kind of just turned me off and I was like, damn, I really am not a huge fan, is this little hole here. Now, you guys recognize this little hole. It is actually for the little button on the back of this drink console so you can remove it from the pad itself. And when you put it in, it'll lock it in place. Look at this. It's actually notched all the way in. So to remove it, the actual console, you have to stick something that's small enough, like for example, this little screwdriver. Obviously, I don't use this, but like a bobby pin or a paper clip to reach to that black button here, push it so you can then pull it out, which by the way is a hassle. I've done it several times, which is why you see now I am no longer using this case and I have removed it and have completely stopped using it. Now, I'm going to go quickly talk about another case that I had just bought for these drug consoles. I ordered it off Amazon. I am on the Amazon Prime Student, so it's super easy to order and have that free shipping involved. It is the officially licensed by Nintendo Joy-Con Gel Grips, and I love these. I haven't used them yet. I just got them, so I'm going to open them right now and show it to you guys, but they look great, and I'm super excited. So let's open this. Okay, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go get a scissor, cut this, and come back. Okay, I am back, and I just cut this entire thing open, so let's get inside of it. Ooh, this feels really nice. I'm getting, oh, ooh, okay. I'm getting super excited to the point where everything's just gonna fall out. Let's uh, slowly remove everything before I tear this silicone apart. So the reason why I went with a silicone case is because I saw everybody kind of using it and it's got these little joystick pads. Okay, that fell. These little joystick pads, I, I, it may not even focus because it's so tiny. There you go. These little joystick pads and they go over the joystick and it protects it, which I absolutely love. And then, this is it. This is the silicone case. Nothing special. It does, a, it does the job it needs to do. Here's the other side. Okay, it is focusing on my face right now. <laughs> ah, there we go. And I'm going to get these locked and loaded. So this one is going to be for this side. This is what it looks like. And now we're just going to put these on. They're kind of like earbud caps, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is what they remind me of. And there you go. We are now locked and loaded. I mean, the only thing I'm having an issue with, oh, never mind, actually. It looks really good. Earlier, they were kind of like crooked. Like they were not fitting very well on the buttons, but this looks great. And you can press the button as well. Perfect, look at that. Now I'm gonna do the other side so you guys can take a look at it as well. This looks great. I do hope that over time it doesn't stretch or anything like that, but so far this is a finishing product and it looks so, so good and amazing. And of course you can 
put this on your switch pad. You're just going to, whoops, wrong way, holding it on the wrong side. So you guys can see it. There you go. There you go. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to show you the wrist straps, which you guys had seen in my unboxing video. This is what they look like. A plus sign on here and a minus sign on the other side. And now I'm going to show you how you put them on. Just going to hold it like this. And you're going to match the plus and the plus sign together. So you're going to go from the top to the bottom. It's a little bit hard for me right now because I have a case on it. And then you just lock it. And then you can use it. And then when you're done, you unlock it. And then you just pull it out. Woo! It does become a little hard with this silicone case on it. But it'll be okay once you put it on. And that's it. And the same goes for the other side. You just lock and load. You just put it on. And a trick, a good tip would be to just remove the case to the side. Put it on. Lock it. And then place the case over it. And then when you're done, unlock it. Pull it out. And the case will just go over it. Still learning how to use everything.